I'm from three and a half hours down the pike, man. Fuck y'all niggas start, man. Hit 95. Get the camping yards, make a shop right. Come on. Yeah. I was raised in the street. A lamp on the outskirts of town with the work. In the days in sweet, got the blaze in heat. Do a die drama. Get fuck about death. I'm like a suicide bomber. Hustle on the block. Ever since I used to rock BBDTs with the Russell over top. Now I'm getting ass, my puberty passed. It's no acne and bumps, but the cash be in lumps. I'm not Frank White, but I'm about to be big. And there's a lot of A&Rs looking out for the kid. But I'd rather do street stuff, sticks in a sort. Carolina flips, moving nicks on the porch. You know who to come to when your coke's gone. And when you come short, you know who the joke's on. You know dogs bite, my criminals kill, and... Clear your block like a chemical spill I'm a dog with the rabies Foam at the mouth Couple grand in your couch And you alone at your house Now that's my chip Sure, I want the wife and the kids But right now it's hoes in the boogie Baltimore flow for that Baltimore flip Every quarter cube is a Baltimore trip Down south dipping on the Baltimore block And getting pulled over by a Baltimore cop Baltimore chicks, I charm to a three. I was harmed by a bitch, now I'm armed to a T. This chick scheme to test you, and if you live, it's Papa Bear, I didn't mean to. I roam through my city, meeting with the willies. There's no have a weakness, exploit his Achilles. I'm too damn fickle, I'm sitting in a club alone. Catch a gangster till it tickle. All right, that's wrong enough. But I just wanted to play something different to start. Uh, welcome back to the Why So Series podcast. I'm your host, Brandon, Devin, and Mike are with us. And we haven't done a show in a long time, and we are finally back. So uh, I ain't did no planning for the show. Uh, didn't get any topics. Been busy. So what's up, fellas? It's good to be back. Michael, tell everybody all the white shit you've been doing. Please tell the people. Well, <clears throat> I spent last week in South America diving, of course, because I can't stop. I think I'm addicted. Um, it was fantastic. I did 23 dives. I'm temporarily deaf in my right ear. Um, I did four classes. I have enough dives to start the professional track on the road to instructor by the end of the year. Uh, I did rescue, deep photography, peak performance, buoyancy. Uh, it was awesome. It was fantastic. It was like so good. I never want to stop. Everyone's making, you guys make fun of me. Don't you get tired of just seeing the same water? No, I see different things in the water every time I go down. What did you see different this time? Did you get attacked? No, I never get attacked by animals. They, 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 we respect each other, the animals. And I, you don't belong in the water. I'm being attacked by a Yorkie right now. What? You don't belong in the water. I'm being attacked by a Yorkie. The water, and I, 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 I was born to be in the water. No, I people think. don't belong in the water. People don't no. belong in the water. That's very true, Brandon. No, the water is great. I think everyone should try it. I'll instruct them in a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Hey, I mean, we all got to grow those. Uh, Net, no income revenues, like that's what's up. That's a new revenue stream for you, Michael. I, I dig it. I'm not doing it for the money. I just want to do it for the love. Look, get the fuck out of here. Stop doing white people shit, yo. I'm talking about, I do it for the love. I didn't say that. I just said I like doing it. Devin, anyway. where have you been in the last week? Uh, I was in Denver at the best goddamn hotel I've ever been in my life. It's called the Woolly, and it's uh, maybe like. 15 minutes away from the uh, Denver airport. It's fucking amazing. Um, I was in D.C. And then I was in Atlanta for a while. Uh, good times. Coffee, go. Damn, not coffee, Dakota. I said, I really... Yes, Atlanta. That's where you need to be. Bro, the people watching in Atlanta is fucking phenomenal. Yes, it Golly, is. Golly, it's the best. Yes. Um... And then going uh, to I the Atlanta to airport is like going to the club. I mean, you you see celebrities, you see you see. So I saw. I ain't talking about least, celebrities. I'm talking about outfits. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw like five fake asses in a in a three hour period yeah. uh, that were get. It was so good though. It was it's amazing time. I it's, am, it's a great for the time. record, I'm pro fake ass. Oh uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not. 
a hater of the fake ass. I'm just saying. It just, it'll blow your mind because, like, you're looking, you're looking, and you're like, hold on, I can't, what the fuck is that? Man, it is a beautiful sight. Uh, it's a whole wagon back there on some thighs that can't hold that wagon up. But uh, I support it. Whatever you like, baby. You pay for it. Sometimes um, the thighs do match. And oh, and then when that, the whew, whew, that is the best, sir. Uh, my Instagram would tell you that uh, I enjoy, I love my Instagram feed. Um, it's just amazing. Shout out to uh, all the great Instagram pages that have those women with those asses, the asses that match those thighs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, anyway, that's all. Inst- I mean, I haven't figured out this whole podcast thing on Instagram. I probably should take time to figure that out. But for now, Instagram is just for um, Instagram models. Yes, that's all really I'm for. here. Oh my god, they're the I best. Mean, you, by the way, you. I mean, look, Lorraine San Diego. Is S- Lorraine SD because uh, she is she has stepped it up. She has definitely stepped it up. Uh, I I do like the thickness that she has in her thighs. Uh, we support you, Lorraine. Thank you. Appreciate you. Mike doesn't know about Instagram thought. Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. Mike, let me get your phone for a, approximately two minutes, and it will be flooded with nothing but booty cheeks and fine women. Hey, work for me. Yes, that is that is all my Instagram is, unfortunately. Yeah. And nerd shit. It's kind of a mix now. Oh, Mine yeah, is all nerd shit. Oh, Michael, you gotta you gotta diversify. You so need you to have diversify. to diversify. Big time. Uh Mike, what have you done nerdy? Since the last time we talked on well, the show. Since I've been gone for so long and spent so much time, I had like a hundred <laughs> I had like a hundred dollars worth of comic books to pick up, so I'm about to get back on that. I caught up I'm working on catching up on all the CW shows. Uh, so I'm starting with Arrow. They're on Netflix. Uh, I know Josh about halfway. Netflix, gang gang. That's why I'm catching up now. It's so about halfway through the season. Why Arrow, are you starting with Arrow? Because uh, Arrow's Flash. always been my favorite. He told you Flash was. I know shit. he did. I know he did. But I'm gonna start with Arrow, and then I'm gonna do Flash, and then I'm gonna do probably um, Supergirl. Supergirl. Yeah, Arrow was the third. All of them were good, but Arrow was the third best this season. Arrow, I feel like they keep benching, they keep benching him, like, just use him, you know, it's like they keep holding him back. Or they're telling the story. Yeah, I know they are, so it's fine. We'll see where they go. I'm not, I know you're caught up, but I'm not. What else? Uh, I've been watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Are you Uh, caught up on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Have you watched all four episodes? No, I've watched the three. I gotta watch. I watched the. the, uh, I didn't watch three. I think we're gonna do some shows on it. Probably, I guess. Well, every. I've been wanting to. I'm ready. I mean, I was caught up. The show's up. fucking am, awesome. Even though I don't know what the fuck's going on. Going, I have, that's, I'm awesome. really about to say that shit. I have no idea what's going on, and I'm confused already. Oh, I okay, let's talk, let's talk a little bit about it right now. So, uh, so currently, Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D., we start the season, and we find out that there's a... First of all, there's two... There's basically there's split up into two parts. So you have Daisy, Piper, Davis, and um, Gemma in space looking for frozen fits that they froze who end up meeting them last time in the future um, because the other timeline fits died uh, when they got back so they're trying to find this timeline fits in the future and he's and Fitz is out there in space with Enoch and then you got back home Mac is taking over for Coulson as the leader of S.H.I.E.L.D. and um, you're trying to figure out why these people are running around like stealing shit, and then you find out that one of them looks like Phil Coulson. Um, so, Mike, what do you? What are you? And he wants to destroy the world. Is that what he wants to do? I, I think so. He's made it I pretty clear. I feel like clear. he just wants to use all the resources on Earth. What are you talking about? Like, I don't think like he wants to destroy. Well, I mean, what you, what happens to the Earth if you use up all of our resources? That's a good, good question. Yeah. Mike, what do you? What are your? What are your? Do you have any theories? Yes, and I said this, and I think you agreed with me before the show even, before when the trailer came out, that dude is 100%, 100% a scroll. I, I think don't he's think he's a scroll. What else would he be? I mean, I don't know of anything in Marvel World Um, He could be up. from another Earth. Right. Well, that, they just okay. want to keep using the actor. That's what I think. I think he's from <laughs> yeah. another Earth. Because they're, they're, they're not, like, seeming like Because a scroll would take scroll that would person's it... face and know who it is. Right. Okay, but this guy doesn't know, like, he doesn't seem to be familiar with, I guess his Earth could be so different that the customs are so, I don't know. I mean, 
He I haven't seen the fourth to, episode. It, I've only right. seen the first three, but so far, I mean, he could be a Chronicon because you know they're out there looking for Fitz because he fucked up. Like he's not supposed to be in this time. I actually am more curious about where Fitz is than what the deal is with Colson. Me too. Well, we saw I, where Fitz is. We know where he is, but we don't know what happened or what's going on. Well, he like, got taken. Well, we do know what happened. He got taken by the hunter, and they basically it seems like they're a time hunter and they're traveling through time to stop. Like, so he's basically. So they, oh, he is time jumping. From, he's basically uh, the Death Flash. Yes. Because okay. Fitz does not belong in this time. He should be dead. Yeah, I just don't know. We should keep Fitz also, alive. Also, yeah. another funny thing is the episode Enoch where is everything. Daisy and Gemma were drunk was hilarious. That was episode three? I mean, three? they were high. I would agree with you until I saw that episode of Doom Patrol where everyone had an orgasm at the same time. Yeah, well, we'll get to that next. Um, but, yeah, so um, here's the thing. Uh, I really like Mac as leader. He's fucking great as the leader. I really, I still, you know, May's still the GOAT. She's the best. Um, Daisy's new hairstyle looks great. Fantastic. Yes. I'm always a fan of Chloe Bennett. Um, Fitz and Enoch are hilarious together. They're, They're so good. Journey. Oh, my God. So good. And Sarge, who's evil, his name is Sarge, Evil Coulson, uh, is pretty fucking ruthless. And if you watch, after you watch episode four, and you see what the fuck happens. Um, yeah, people are already die. I'll just say okay. That. All right, thank so, you, sir. I, um, oh, well, I haven't seen four yet, so neither have I. I'm not gonna tell you what happened in four, but I will tell you this: uh, Mike's favorite character is back in episode four. Oh. Oh really? Deke. Is the pilot guy? Deke? Yeah, the pilot guy. I'm say, yeah. Deke isn't my favorite. Deke's your favorite. No, my favorite character is um, Hunt. Not what the hell's his name? The That's pilot. Right. No, Mockingbird's uh boy. Oh, Hunter, trash ass oh. Hunter. Oh, I love Hunter. Uh, Mega Hunter. Uh, oh shit, that's funny. <laughs> that's the best. I love that Trump guy. Brother. He's the Trump brother. Uh, all right. So we're all excited about Ages of Steel. Um, I just interested to see where it's going. Um, Mike, did you com- did you finish watching Doom Patrol? I did. It was fantastic. And what did you uh, think about the I season? was actually so scared that they were going to do what Titans did because I'm watching the, the show and I'm like, there's 30, there's like a minute left and there's, I feel like so much that needs to happen. And then it all just kind of happened and they kind of gave you that cliffhanger knockout, knockout, you know, like cop out ending. But I was actually more okay with it in this case than I was with Titans. So uh, how are we going to judge DC as a as a streaming service so far? Are we uh, are we positive. V plus positive. V plus You have one bad show and you have everything else has been great. Also Devin, I'm pretty sure and I haven't watched it yet. I'm pretty sure the rest of Young Justice was just uploaded on the 2nd. I haven't checked though. Oh. Oh really? I'm pretty sure. Let me check actually right now while we're on here. Uh, but... I mean, we can do that. Yeah, we both can do that. Um, yeah, let me look because Devin, I'm pretty sure I, looked, I saw it on Wikipedia and it was like, yeah, the rest of the episodes are getting uploaded. On the second, I want to check right now. I'm logging into my account. Devin, did you finish Doom Patrol? I did not, sir. I have been watching the Yu Yu Hakusho on uh, Hulu, and it's a 19, 1994 anime, and it's fucking fantastic. And um, I'm at season three and episode. All right, all right. We'll get to that when I ask you what you've done, nerdy. Oh, talking okay. about TV shows right now. Oh, I mean, oh, Devin, it's not out yet. Show. When so, is it coming out? Okay, Mike, gives a fuck. Sorry. <laughs> what? What'd you say? You're messing up the flow. I oh. mean, let him. Ooh. I mean, we we've been gone for a while. He's he's yeah, entitled fair, to fuck fair. it up. That's fair. I really... Brandon, how did you like uh, Justice League versus the final? Uh, the Fatal Five. I didn't watch. Oh, that. I I actually like that, and I'm it's really good. It's long, but it's good. With that universe, but I'm not upset that they are because I think it's cool. It's super cool. So, Brandon, check it out. I enjoy Doom Patrol a lot. It really shows you how they fucked up with Titans. <laughs> but the, here's the thing: they don't give a shit about Doom Patrol. Like DC doesn't give a shit. Like they they're not gonna be all involved with that shit. So. They were able to tell the story that they wanted to tell. They had characters that nobody knew, so they could do whatever the fuck they wanted to. 
and they decided to make you care about the characters, to make you get emotionally invested in the characters, and have a rooting interest to see them make it out of that fucking shitty lives that all of them have had. <laughs> And that is fantastic, intriguing television, and I cannot wait for season two. And the ridiculousness of the villains and ridiculousness of the storylines, I don't know how it gets even more ridiculous than some of the shit that happened this season, including uh, Flex Metallo making everybody have an orgasm, which was hilarious. Um, It was pretty fucking good, including a sentient uh, genderqueer Street? street. Yes. Yeah, that was the thing. Uh, also, so, Devin, I was wrong. It's July second, not June. Okay, no, not a problem. Uh, I just happened to open the DC uh, app. Brandon, what's going on with? Yes, I watched Swamp Thing, episode one. Oh, is it out? I haven't yes. seen it yet. Swamp Thing. Wait, how many out. episodes? When did it come out? Friday. Oh, I gotta catch. I gotta get on that. Watch the first episode of Swamp Thing. They're going pretty horror flick with that, and it's so far so good for the pilot. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, my man is in the movie. I mean, in the in in it. Um, what's my man's name? Um, Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I'm back. Lord Jesus, these phones. Um, Brandon, Swamp Thing. Did you I, watch? The first we're already episode? talking about Swamp Thing. Did you watch it? Yes. In the How forty seconds you were gone, we talked about. <laughs> we're talking about it. My man, my man Andy Bean is in there from fucking Power. When I actually watched Power, uh, his trash ass is in it, and he's basically playing Alec Collin, who uh, is Swamp Thing. Uh, well, he was a Swamp Thing. I don't know if he's going to be Swamp Thing in the movie. Well, yeah, he is. What am I talking about? I watched the first episode, so <laughs> uh, make sure you guys go check that out. It's actually really good so far, and. DC's been kind of hitting it on all cylinders on TV shows, uh, with the exception of Gotham. Like, Legends is great. Supergirl's great. Flash is great. Arrow was good. Um, Doom Patrol was great. Swamp Thing has a promising start. Young Justice is, is great. It's so, great. Yeah, DC. If you can get your movie shit together and stop fucking leaking shit and actually, you know, be a legitimate, competent studio, then yeah, you know what? Maybe you can get your shit together. Um, Brandon, we'll don't lie. You're still excited about Dark Phoenix. You're excited. Yeah, I'm excited that is ending. Oh, yeah. I am too. What are you talking about? You think this movie's gonna be good? I mean, not, <laughs> there's no I mean, chance I'm, in hell this movie's good. There's zero chance this movie's good. Sophie's gonna save the movie. You don't know. Sophie's amazing. Yeah, I don't care how great Sophie is. You cannot tell the Dark Phoenix saga in one movie. No. The Dark Phoenix all. saga needs to be minimum. Three movies. Three. More than that. It, really? If you read the comic books, it starts at like issue 97. And it doesn't end to like issue like 140 something. Because you had the Phoenix saga and then you had the yeah. Dark Phoenix saga. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. And there's a whole bunch of other shit that goes into it, it that leads to that part. Like. It's, it All should be a tip. long storyline that culminates with this. Similar to how they did, not as long, I don't think it needs to be as long as the Infinity Saga, but it could be. It, uh, and Because you so, could tell oh, a bunch so of other stories. you're saying the whole beginning of the MCU universe is pretty much the Infinity Saga? Yes. Okay. I didn't. I, I wasn't aware. That's what they called I, it, Infinity Saga. Okay. So, yeah, Dark Phoenix has no chance of being good. You're trying to cram one story. You're trying to cram this big-ass story into one fucking movie. It's not going to be good. On top of that, Fox has no idea how to present the X-Men. Have no fucking idea. Yeah, I'm glad went they're back done. And watched X-Men Last Stand. And watched Days of Futures Past. And watched Apocalypse. And they're all trash. And I don't want to hear anybody who listens to this show try to tell me that Days of Future Past is a good movie. It's not a good movie. I love Days of Future Past. It's, Boo, it's, it's not, not a good movie. A good movie. It's not a good movie in any way. In any way at all. I took so many notes in that movie screaming at the fucking television set. Watching the only thing I like about the movie is Michael Fassbender. That is well, the yeah, the thing. actors have never been the problem. That doesn't mean it's a good movie. No, I mean, that's the only thing I liked about it. I mean, he's great as Magneto. Um, I mean, yeah, he's he's great at what they ask him to do. 
Is he a great Magneto? No. Okay, because he's they're not, not true Magneto. They're not asking him to – I mean, I mean, he's playing Magneto, so there's that. He had a great Magneto scene in Apocalypse. That was probably the, one of the best things the X-Men's ever done. Too bad the rest of the movie is pure shit. Mm. But the scene where he's in the forest and they kill his shit is great. That's an excellent. He he was acting his ass off in that scene. But, you know, they don't understand anything. For example, um, so in the movies, they basically said that Leech has the power to take uh, other mutants' powers, Right. And so then, this is X three. And so then, Magneto sends the Juggernaut in to get him, and Juggernaut runs into him, runs into the room, and then runs past Leech and couldn't run through the door, couldn't run through the wall because it knocked himself Leech. out because Leech took his power. Here's the thing: the Juggernaut is not a fucking mutant. Fucking mutant? No, he's indestructible. No, he's enchanted. The Juggernaut's got like magical powers. Hold on, what? Yes. I just am I learning something right now? Hold on. Who gave him magical powers? He got it from like this thing. It's the whole storyline. Um, but he's he's Professor X's half brother. Right. I knew that. He's he got magical something powers. Something related. And any, anyway, he is not a fucking mutant. Now, here's the thing: a regular person like Devin may not know that. But guess what? If you're writing the fucking movie, you should probably do some research on a character that you're gonna put in your movie, especially when they research. Been that character's been around, you know, since the 1960s. 60s. <laughs> you probably could take some time to figure out the history of that character and implement that in your universe. Here's another thing with the Juggernaut. Juggernaut was such a waste in that film. He has a fucking helmet, and they go, why you wear that helmet? Because it makes you look good. No, he wears no. a fucking helmet so, so Xavier can't Xavier read his can't head. Fucking mind. Yeah, yeah. But again, they don't give a shit, so they he make says, up bullshit. He says, it makes my face look pretty. Yeah, it's bullshit. So fuck those movies. I can't wait till Thursday <laughs> to go see the last one of those movies, um, and it's gonna be trash. And it's gonna feel so good when those end credits roll. And I never had to see a Fox X Men movie for the rest of my life. So well said, that. sir. Um, okay, uh, Devin, what have you done nerdy recently? Uh, I've been watching Yu Yu Hakusho. It is a anime that came out in 1994, 95. Uh, it has five seasons, and I am in season four, and it is long, but it is amazing storytelling. Uh, Attack on Titan is just, is still great. I I just need anybody that loves great storytelling and animation to watch Attack on Titan and just fall in love with it because it is literally the best graphic novel anime that you could ever just just watch one punch man is so much fun watch that um if you ever just want to just try to get to naruto or one piece start there and you'll just start there and there's 500 or 700 episodes that you'll just dive into and you'll love it um it's a great just world i live in and with this this anime, it's a great world I live in, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. Um, trying to catch up on these Netflix shows that are coming out and movies that are coming out. I uh, want to watch uh, when they see us, but I, Rasani told me don't watch it all in one day, so I don't even want to watch it. Period. Now, uh, thanks, Rasani. Shout out to Simo Simulcast and Unburden and all that stuff yeah, he does over there. A, that's not nerdy, but yeah, everyone uh, should watch that. Yeah, um, and. Um, what else? Oh, Asian shit. You know, you gotta shout out to maybe. Uh, is it maybe later? What is, what is the movie called, Brandy? You know, what movie? Uh, the the movie we're talking was talking about yesterday. Uh, it's called Maybe Something. But Ali Wong and uh the guy from Fresh Off the Boat. Um, I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, check that out on Netflix. Uh, and then um, I've been doing a lot of um. I, I am so blessed to have so much free time now with my new position uh, that I like doing a lot of shit by myself. So I see a lot of movies. Rocket Man uh, and fucking Ma was great. And just doing a lot of meditation and um, a lot of abundance cards. I do a lot of like tarot card shit now. Um, yeah, I'm just in a, I'm in a woo-woo zone. I'm not even in a nerdy zone. I'm in a woo-woo zone. So, uh, yeah, life is good, though. All right. Um, Mike, let's get to some of this news. Um, 
Robert Pattinson is going to be Batman. How do you feel? Boo! Sorry, Mike. Yeah, I'm kind of with Devin, although I'm telling myself I'm going to give him a chance. Because I will say, I heard he hate. You know, most people are making fun of him because of the Twilight things. Apparently, he hates those movies as much as the rest of us do. <laughs> he started so, fucking that bitch. I'm, I'm not. I don't give him a pass to say he. I also, I also heard that he's been in other movies that were actually pretty good. And I looked at some clips. And where, I, where, what there. movies? So, what movies? I never, I never heard what of. What titles? Say the titles, yeah. Michael. Say the titles. Say the titles. You've been, you've been reading about it. Say the titles out loud because I don't know anything he's been good at. Yeah, Devin, you're very passionate about Robert Pattinson. Actually, Being Robert Pattinson is a really good actor. He's and a I, really good actor, but I, I think he'll be like, great as Batman if they let him. Mm, no. The actor is not the problem. Yes, you're correct. You're correct. It's the writing. DC has shit writers. The, the acting is not the problem. Robert Pattinson will be just fine. They're trying to do a young, a younger Bruce Wayne. Uh, I just want to know how they're going to write this into their ongoing story. They're not. That's the that's the smartest thing they can do. They're not. They're doing well, worlds of DC. This could be a whole other universe. Who knows? But I I don't think Robert Pattinson he doesn't come off charming to me. He he seems he always is going to look creepy. He's always going to bring his eyes down and make him look creepy. He's just not. Uh, I don't know. But so whatever, what? Brandon. Bruce Wayne doesn't him. matter. Oh, okay. I, like they say this all the time on the MCR network, uh, Chris and Deepon. Bruce Wayne is irrelevant. He is just there to pass time until he can be Batman again. And by the way, Robert Pattinson can play young playboy billionaire. Just he fine. definitely can. He can. That if is correct. If they want to go with that, my biggest concern is are Physicality? no. Are you going to do Robin? I, the actor is not the problem. Ben Affleck was but fine as Batman. Body, no, but Robert Pattinson's body is not the same as Ben Affleck's body. So I'm just saying, like, um, so. Ben Affleck's body wasn't Ben Affleck's body until he got his body to be Ben Affleck's body. Yeah, if you got the money and the training, you can you can do it. I, I'm just saying that to this point, at least Ben Affleck was in town and she, he Michael looked Keaton like wasn't Ben Affleck's body, and neither was Val Kilmer. Um, Mike, I mean, Val neither Kilmer was Christian was just, Bale. But, I mean, I guess I'm. I'm not fighting this fight. I'm not because I don't give a fuck. I'm not fighting this fight. So okay. I mean, it's a it's a fact. He they none of them were buff as Ben Affleck was. True. It doesn't matter. None of this matters. What matters is, do they have a script? Is WW is WB going to stay out of the fucking way, right? Because it will. I know it's good for them. No, because it's Batman, so they're not because they care about <laughs> Batman. See. There's Shazam, no way they can mess that up. You can t- yes, you can. What are you talking about? They messed up. They messed up Justice League. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that's fair. What are you talking about? They messed up Justice League. Listen, Shazam was a great movie. You know why Shazam's a good movie? Because no one there like gives a shit about Shazam. It's Shazam. He doesn't matter. That's why the movie didn't make that much money, even though it was their best film. Because they didn't promote it. And no one cares. Because it's Shazam. Aquaman did well, even though I didn't like the movie. It did well because it's fucking Aquaman. Who cares? You got Jason Momoa. You didn't even try. You just said, we're going to put you in the water. I'll let you be Jason Momoa. And people are going to see In the water. Yeah, yeah. And they will. That's true. So they didn't even have to try with Aquaman. With Batman, they care. They're going to try. They're going to put all this effort into it. And when they do that, here's the thing. Matt Reeves is directing the Batman. Matt Reeves is a fantastic director. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Matt Reeves directed Planet of the Apes, the Planet of the Apes movies. Um, he's very good. He's a very good director. Um, he did War of the Planet of the Apes, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, Cloverfield. Okay. So Cloverfield was trash, but okay. He does a lot of thrillers. Yeah, he's a very good director. Clo- I think Cloverfield's okay. I don't think it's trash. It's not great, but it's not trash. Uh, he was a producer on The Passage, which a lot of people liked on Fox. Like it. It's a good stuff, yeah. So, Zach Morris. Matt Reeves is very good at what he does. Is WB going to let Matt Reeves go do whatever the fuck he wants to do? I don't think they will. But we'll see. So, also, what they need to do is have a Robin in this film. I'm tired of seeing Batman movies without Robin. Correct. I'm tired of seeing this idea. And I've heard a lot of people say this, and I agree. This idea that Batman is some loner character. Batman is not a loner character. Batman has a whole family of characters that are constantly around him throughout the majority of the history 
in the last recent history, like the last 30 years of Batman comics, TV, etc. He has Batgirl. He has Dick Grayson. He has Tim Drake. He has Damien now. Like, he's got a whole group of people around him. Put them in the film. I would prefer they do Tim and already have Dick as older and off being Nightwing. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, I guess. I like Jason. Jason is, you know, he's a lot of dude. Make like Jason, Jason. Like, yeah, like, let, make, Jason, make Jason be the fucking Red Hood, and that's cool. I'm, I'm down with that. Yeah, but he don't. Jason doesn't need to be in his first movie. But no. Dick should be in the movie, or Tim should be in the movie, or even if you want to do Damien. I'm not the biggest fan of Damien, but go ahead and put Damien in. But yeah, I'm he not needs a to have a Robin. I'm not a fan of Damien because it just makes the timeline go so forward, and you have to put everybody else in there. That's well, they're not going to do Damien because they're casting young a younger Batman. But you can absolutely do. It matter depends on how old is Rob Pattinson. Thirty three. So if you wanted to pretend that Dick Grayson was twenty two. That's eleven years younger. You could have him be a Nightwing or twenty one. Actually, you could make him like twenty one, just a young night. He could be Nightwing, twelve years younger, and then you could have Tim as like a fifteen year old, sixteen year old, fifteen, fourteen year old Tim Drake, thirteen year old Tim Drake. You could do that with his age with Robert Pattinson. You could easily age him up to be thirty five, have a twenty one year old Dick, a twenty two year old Dick, and fifteen, fourteen year old Tim, and there you go. You got the start of your Bat family. You could have Barbara somewhere in this universe that's like in her early twenties. Like you could really do this. Having sex with Robert Pattinson, probably. No, no. they're not going to. No, do that. not going to do that. They know better than to do that. But they did it in the animated version. Yeah, they did it in the Killing Joke, which is trash. Um. All right, so I, I got an article. Uh. Apparently. When they moved Pokemon over from Japan to America, they changed a whole bunch of shit. I don't think anybody's surprised over that. But apparently there were like 22 different scenes from the Pokemon that aired overseas and the ones that aired here. Um, For example, the episode The Legend of Dratini originally had multiple guns pointed at children. What? (laughs) What? Uh, so yeah, so that's just a random little thought, but yeah. I wanna be the very best. Um, that's my jam, yeah. Um, Devin, have you seen the trailer for It Chapter Two? I have. I saw it, and I don't give a fuck about it because I never saw the first one. I just don't give a fuck about that shit. I mean, people love that shit though. Man, you y'all can it? have it. No, nah, I'm good. Fuck all that shit. Oh, it's so good. It is good. It's so. Good. I mean, if LeBron James dresses up as him for Halloween, I mean, I guess it's good. But I mean, I'm not here for it. So, enjoy everybody else. Enjoy. Mike, did you see it? I did. Are you excited? I'll be there. I'm very excited. I will be there. Um, Marvel may be interested in Keanu Reeves. Saw that. Yeah, he's gonna play in the what the out uh, of the um. Immortals, Eternals, Eternals. <laughs> yeah, I don't care what he plays in. I'm, I'm here for him. He'll be, he'll be in. He'll be fine. What do you mean fine? He's fantastic. Did you see John Wick three? I'm seeing it on Thursday. Oh yeah, so you don't know. Uh, and I more, mean, I've seen the other ones and it was pretty good. And more bullshit news that I don't believe till I actually see it. Uh, Supergirl movie targeting 2020 starter production. Really? So we are in what month is this? June. So 2020, at the earliest, is, what, six months away? What are they going to do with their whole show? <laughs> yeah, well, it doesn't matter what they're going to do with the show. What, that is, why does that matter? That doesn't matter. It's the I movie. Mean, they got rid of the... Uh, they're doing a Flash movie. They had the Joker on Gotham. Are they? They're doing the Joker movie. It doesn't matter. None of that matters. Uh, they never had the balls to confirm that that was actually the Joker on Gotham. <laughs> well, yeah. Don't, we're not talking about Gotham. Unless we go and watch that episode, which we probably should do. We should watch the final episode, and I think that'd be hilarious. But... So here's the thing. Who's playing Kara Danvers um, who, or in the movie? Who, who's playing the lead? You don't know because they don't have anybody. Okay. What is the script about? <laughs> you don't know? Okay. 
weekend. We'll see if this movie actually comes out. I don't listen to any of this shit. Shouldn't um, they like finish their like other shit that they're working on right now? Idris Elba is rumored to play in Bronze Tiger and Suicide Squad. I'd be uh, down for that a hundred percent. Yeah, Ben Turner. Don't even hate that. Yeah, Ben Turner was great on Arrow. He came back this season. So, um, yeah. And he was great. I've always loved him in Arrow. Yeah, Ben Turner's great. So, I can see Idris doing that. Absolutely. I think, do you think he would, I don't know. Didn't, um, you think Idris could do better? Because that dude does a pretty good job being Bronze Tiger. He does, but he, I don't think he's the actor that Idris Elba is. Um, that would yeah, know who that is. Like, Idris Elba would kill it. Oh, this is great. Not Fox, one bit. I don't know any of his. Fox planned a secret Marvel movie featuring Fantastic Four and X-Men team up. <laughs> yeah. X-Men First Class. Oh, you know what? That and they was the said only it was going to be better movie. than the Avengers. They well, said not, it was going to be better no. than the Avengers. Not good, but that was the only passable X-Men movie. X-Men First Class screenwriter Zach Stentz has revealed that in 2011 he worked on a script for a massive Marvel team up movie at 20th Century Fox. According to Stentz, the movie would have included all the Marvel characters that Fox owned at the time. Not only the X-Men, but also Daredevil, the Fantastic Four, and Deadpool. Oh, Daredevil? Oh, I'm down. Bring him back. No. Daredevil is coming back. So are the other ones. Did you see? No, they're not. Yeah, Kevin Feige, Kevin Feige was like, he put a letter out about the cancellation, and he was like, if you think these stories are over, you don't know us very well. Well, yeah, their stories aren't over. That doesn't mean they're getting a TV show. Where else would they be? Uh, the character can show up in somebody else's TV show. Oh, that's good enough for me. As long as they're back, I don't care. Um, Mike, you need to come out here in California this summer so we can go to Galaxy's Edge. I thought that was at the Florida one. No, it's here. Oh, all right. Well, I'll go. I'm, uh, whatever. I'm down. <laughs> so they have a uh, Millennium... I'll bring my dive gear. They have a Millennium Falcon ride, apparently, with a life-size Millennium Falcon, or what you Yo, the way they try to play my man, fucking Billy D, going to the fucking release, I was pissed off about that shit. I was really pissed about that shit. What they like, do? they act like he wasn't there. Like, in the headlines, it said George Lucas, uh, Harrison Ford, and Chewie. Uh, the the and line I saw said Billy D was there. Oh, he no, he wasn't in the headline, though. I saw he was. No, no, no. But uh, anyway, um, I was I was upset about that. But I'm glad Michael saw when he was in the fucking. Uh, actually, I saw a headline that was talking about Billy D. Williams specifically being there and how it's good to see him back. Maybe I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mike, have you ever seen the movie Candyman? <laughs> no, but I hear a bunch of jokes about it. Devin, have you seen Candyman? I seen the first one. Uh, didn't see the other one. Is there two? Yes, yeah, Candyman too. Yeah. Uh, well, Jordan Peele's redoing Candyman, and Tony Todd, he said, will be back. So you know, if Jordan Peele's doing it, I'll go see it. Uh, let's see. We didn't do any planning, so I'm just looking at random shit that I have saved from back in the day. Oh, Sonic the Hedgehog's being delayed, you know. Yeah, it, it, good, good. You know, what would be good if it never comes out? That would be good. <laughs> That'd be much better. They're not going to be able to fix this movie. The best news. They can't They can't fix that. Um, another... And they're wasting Jim Carrey, too, because he's like, he could have done that pretty good. And more DC news, quote-unquote, news. Uh, Tom King is supposed to be co-writing New Guys with Ava DuVernay. Yeah, Tom King's out as Batman. It pisses me off. He's not out as that, Batman. Yo, oh my he God. is. He's done. No, he's not. That's what they he's said. not doing the 100. He's going, He's cutting 15 issues. Oh, my gosh. Y'all need to stop reading Bleeding Cool. He's doing another Bat project. What are y'all Someone talking about? Been... Did y'all even read this? It was not clear what he was moving on to. He's... Yes, it is. He's already come out and said it. I keep telling y'all, do not watch fucking Bleeding Cool. It's bullshit. Anyway, it's bleeding cool. we saw Tom King face to face, sir. You weren't there. We did, actually. Tom <laughs> King is writing a book called Batman Catwoman. He's, it's going to continue the story that he started, and it's moving off into another title called Batman and Catwoman. 
That's what he's doing when he quote unquote. Well, fine, Batman. fine, sir. You're right. We're sorry. We were wrong. Evan, I'm but loving your him. passion in this. We episode. saw him. I'm loving it. I mean, I'm here for you, Michael, because he's not going to say we were wrong. Goddamn, we saw Tom King. Thank you. And, I brought and, you guys and, presents from South America, by the way. Oh, great. I'm excited about it. I don't know when I'm, and I ever give them to you. <laughs> I mean, Michael, I'm like maybe 30 minutes from you. So, yeah, like, you're easier to give presents to. <laughs> Michael, I fly a lot, so I can definitely take those to Brandon as well. You know, so. One day, I'm really hoping like I get on a Southwest flight and you're just there and it's just unplanned and we have this match. Um, I, no, I don't want that, Michael. I don't want that. I'm just oh, gonna, why? Gonna be cramp your because, style? No, I'm not going to cramp my style. I'm just not trying to work a flight that you're on. Why, why can't I take a flight with you? Oh, we can do that too. Yeah, that's exactly. No, it'd be funny that we can start podcasting off the intercom. Uh, no, sir. Um, <laughs> Olivia Wilde says she'd like to direct a Marvel movie. I bet she would. Um, a lot of yeah. I would like to direct a Marvel movie. But, too. You know what? Look at that white fem- feminism coming through. I did one movie and now I'm ready for Marvel. Here's the thing. Get the- uh, her movie was great. No, she is ready. What are you talking about? She- you know, you know how many movies the Spider Man, the person did Spider Man Homecoming did before Spider Man Homecoming? Two, one, zero. Really? Oh wow! Let me tell you what the Spider Man Homecoming director. I forget his fucking name. Um, uh, John Watts. That's his name. Let me tell you what John Watts did before Spider Man Homecoming in 2017. He did a movie called Cop Car. With Devin ba- <laughs> Kevin Bacon, uh, he did a scene in uh, he did a short. He produced uh, a a video online video show for the Onion. Yeah, that was, um, that's the most notable thing he had. Yeah, that's nothing. What are you talking about? That's that's nothing. I'm just saying that you're right. I he mean, did I a bunch of it. shorts, a, like a, a million shorts, like little five minute things. Uh, on the internet and stuff. Nothing. He did nothing. That happens all the time with Marvel. They pick people that are talented and they let them give movies. So, yeah. Uh, Olivia Wilde did way more than that dude did because Booksmart's actually really good. Really good. So, You're if, right. I, I apologize. I was wrong. If, I, he I can, say if he can get a movie, um, yeah, Olivia Wilde can absolutely get a movie. Now, what I would like to see her in is something I could see her doing uh, She-Hulk. That would be fun. That would be great for her because, oh my God, Jessica's funny as shit. So, uh, that you know, you never know. But I'm sure. But listen, that movie's done. That movie's really good. So she should be getting some opportunities. Um, if people are going to be fair to her, she should be getting some opportunities. So we'll see. Um, like here's another one. You know what? Um, uh, my man uh, Taika Watiti did before Thor Ragnarok. Uh, let no. me show you what he did before Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> he did some movie called Hunt for Wilder People. Nah, I don't. Nah. He directed five episodes of a TV show called The Inbetweeners. Nah, nah, we're not fucking with that. Did, so yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. So you, you proved your point. Uh, you, you won. You got it. Marvel finds good people. I wonder how they find these people, and they're just like, you're Easy. probably gonna do all right. Because they, unlike us, they actually watch these people in the business know about these little things. And they hear buzz about people at different film festivals and things like that. And they make pitches. And if you make, you know, it's, you can still get put on. Like, a lot of times people get put on by names, but you can still get put on by making a good pitch. Like, it can it can happen. And you do good work, and you're fine. Uh, Chris Hemsworth almost played Gambit in X-Men Origins Wolverine. Oh, my God. Thank God it didn't. Why would Gambit even be in that movie? He was in that movie. Sense. I know. What doesn't make any sense. It's stupid. Um, Godzilla was trash. I really love Gambit. Oh, Godzilla was trash. Thank you, Brandon. So tell him why it was trash, Brandon. Tell him why it was trash. No, I've never trying, seen like, any of those movies. Don't go see Godzilla. Don't um, see it. No, do not see it. Do not. I don't really care for those monster movies. Kaiju movies. Because they don't love. No, I love mm-hmm. Pacific Rim. Well, that's what I mean. They're not all the second movies. one. The second one wasn't great. It was okay. It was much better than this film. Well, the <laughs> first Pacific Rim film I thought was actually pretty good. Nah. Yeah, nah, I did too. I really I enjoyed it. Was that. Good. Yeah, I, I, I guess you just have to go there with your mind 
Uh, but like I just didn't, so uh, I didn't enjoy it. But it's good, fantastical shit. I mean, it's it's cool for that. Yeah, it's a kaiju film. Big ass monsters or robots fighting in the city, destroying shit. Oh yeah, I do like that shit. I'm I, I like. You watch anime? Yeah, I like that. What shit. are you talking about? I, I watch One Attack Punch Man. That's all that shit is. The yeah, whole right. city is just there to get destroyed every week. You're right. I, like, like I said, I, the I cities thinking, don't even have names. What are like City A and City B? What, <laughs> what, what it's called? Yes, <laughs> they don't even have names. They're just rent. There's just people there to get stomped on by the monsters. Yo, shout out to Brandon for fucking taking that leap into anime, though. Thank you, sir. Thank you for watching One Punch Man. Oh man, that's funny. I've not done it yet, but I should finish it. Um. Uh yeah, so we're just talking, we're just kicking shit at this point. Um, Captain <laughs> Picard could connect to Deep Space Nine. Uh, Yo, yeah, so when is that TV show that. coming out? Whenever it comes out, I, I, you know, I think I'm going to sign up for CBS All Access sometime, like next week maybe, because I really want to watch Star Trek Discovery. Because all I hear is how great it is. Like, just what everyone tells me is just like the greatest thing ever. So I'm like, I need to watch that. And the Twilight Zone is out. And I probably should watch that too because I like Jordan Peele. Um, so, yeah, whenever this Picard show comes out, I'll be there too. Because um, I love me some Jean-Luc Picard and I love Patrick Stewart. Like both. Uh, Mike. Mm-hmm. You better say that man's right. His name is Sir. Patrick Stewart, don't you don't you do that? Is he? Not, uh, has he been? He is definitely. Yeah, he no, is he's been Sir Patrick Stewart for, for a long time. time. Oh, I didn't know that. I feel I feel like I should have known that. It's in his Twitter name. Is, that's his Twitter name. Yeah, Sir Pat Stew. Uh, Twitter users are sharing comic book moments that made them cry. Did any comic book movie moment make you cry, that Mike? In the movies or in the books? No, in the books. I don't think in the books anything would have. I don't even think in the movies anything would have either. Um, I think that's a good question. I I will say that that moment where uh, Flash brings back a letter from Batman's dad is always very touching. Um, and reads it to, or gives it to Bruce. Um. Okay, here's some. Uh, oh, you know what? I got one. I actually do got one that was pretty sad. What? It was. Uh, I don't know. If, I mean, it didn't make me cry, but I would say it's an emotional moment. It's when there's a there's a panel that I read where uh, Johnny Storm dies, and uh, Reed Richards' kid Franklin is like all sad about it. And oh yeah. Spider Man. Yeah. Spider Man is sitting there like telling. Yo, him that was real. Stuff. That shit is real. That's some. That's that some shit is real. I, we did that. We did yes, that. Recap it was awful. Yeah, that's what I remember that from. So that was fantastic, and that was. I commend them for including something like that in their book, and uh, that that's probably the most emotional. By the way, oh. John the Hickman, who's my favorite comic book writer, who did that run that Mike was just talking about, is going to be writing two X Men books coming up, and so you're taking my favorite writer and putting them in my favorite characters, and um, I will be buying those books every month. So, I don't even care what he's writing about. I don't care what the storyline is going to be. I really don't care because I know it's going to be great. Um, so, here's some of the list. Uh, many saga moments because, yeah, saga is my favorite book. Um, and, yeah, you will be crying throughout that book because it's so funny and it's so outrageous, but it's also really sad at times. Uh, devastating Deadpool. Uh, Deadpool has just been kicked off the Avengers, and Deadpool, instead of wallowing in despair, spends an entire day with this suicidal girl taking her on missions and even to Hamilton. He ends up he ends it by taking her to the hospital. So that can be sad. Uh Ultimate Peter Parker, the death of Ultimate Peter Parker, yeah, that was sad. Uh, when Peter died. Uh, before Miles came in. Um in that movie that was sad too. The Boy Who Collects Spider Man, I don't know if you ever read that. I have that issue. It's really good. It's a famous Spider Man issue. It's like this boy who's like really sick. And he collects everything Spider-Man. Spider-Man spends like the whole day with him. It's really good. Um, Savior Superman? I don't know this one. The, your doc? Oh, it's a guy look about to, this is a girl just about to jump like off a building and commit suicide. Superman's like, your doctor uh. really did get held up. Regan, it's never as bad as it seems. You're much stronger than you think you are. Trust me. I've seen that before. Um, many Jeff John- Oh, the Flash reunion when 
Wally came out of the speed when when uh, Barry was oh his, Rebirth uh, one yeah when Barry was his uh, anchor and then the letter from Thomas Wayne to Bruce is on here. Um, he had a Fantastic Four thing that you were just talking about. Um, yeah, so I would put that Fantastic Four thing probably at the top for me. Yeah, Fantastic like Fantastic Four is awesome. I've been reading the most recent one; it's great. Doom came. Let me tell you some. Doom is back, like the real Doom is back, and he's such an asshole. So Doom, like, entices Galactus to come to Earth. So Galactus shows up on Earth, and the Fantastic Four just got back, and they're like, "Oh shit, we gotta go deal with Galactus." And then they're not letting him in Latveria, and Doom's just like, "Yeah, I don't need you here." And so he basically is like, basically Doom attracted Galactus to Earth on purpose. He hacked all the TV feeds in the world so that everything would be broadcasting him defeating Galactus just so he could show up Reed Richards. Because that's the type of person Doom is. And of course, it ends with Doom getting, you know, getting his because that's how it always ends. Reed Richards always ends up on top, even though he's a dick too. Um, Oh, all right, Mike, are you finally going to watch Krypton? No. Why? <laughs> uh, why? Well, I don't know. Why should I? Don't do it. Don't do it, Michael. Um, good. how about this? Um, Lobo's in it. I don't care that. I don't really like Lobo that much. I mean, he's okay. You like Lobo? Not really. So I kind of think he's annoying. Lobo is great on the on the cartoons. He's great, but I don't know about the show. the man. Isn't that what he calls himself? The yeah. main man. The he's main the main man. man. The main man. So you don't want to see Lobo. And Brainiac on the same show? No. no? I mean, I'm uh, whatever. <laughs> Listen, it's on DC Universe, Mike. You could at least give it a shot. Maybe after I'm done with Shield, Arrow, Flash, Supergirl, oh, Legend, <laughs> uh, Young Justice Two. I mean, three part two. Then uh, maybe I'll give it a shot. Mike, did you hear anything from the Apple? development event yeah they're getting rid of itunes everyone's all pissed about it and they're doing the dark mode finally yeah i've had dark mode for like four years yeah i know so so, what? so no one I, if there's one thing i've noticed about apple it's most of my friends who used to have all app iphones are like definitely starting to get out of there and i'm uh, totally okay with it because yeah, your friends are weird nah uh, i kind of want to wants to get an iphone, iPhone. Uh, it's between an iPhone and a Pixel, but probably a Pixel now. Got to give the Pixel a try. Heard good things. I, I dig that. I dig that. You heard. I just don't like Apple like locking you in when you when you buy an iPhone. You pretty much always have to buy Apple now, and they don't like to share their products. Um, isn't that what all of them do? No, I can connect. My, you to. I can connect. I can connect my Samsung to like anything in my room. I, I can do that with my phone. My iPhone. I'm not getting into this argument with you. Um, <laughs> DC's Harley Quinn animated TV show poster confirms fall 2019 premiere. Oh, hey. you know who's playing Harley Quinn in the in the animated show? No, homegirl from um, um, Big Bang Theory. Uh, really? Which one? Uh, Penny? You're talking about yeah, Penny. Penny. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. She'd be good. She's a good Harley Quinn. Her voice is good for that. Yeah. Yeah, so. I can see that. I think they might have another hit with that. I love Harley Quinn. I'd be reading the books. Okay, she has a. Uh, isn't she getting an animated series too? That's what the fuck we're just talking about, Mike. <laughs> God I damn it! I thought you were talking Michael. about Birds of Prey. God damn it, Mike. Why would Why would she be playing on Birds of Prey when you already have God Marlo, damn Margo? It. God damn it! I'm confused. God damn it! It's like you don't even listen. Like I just speak for no reason. Are you sleepy, Mike? Right? Is that what this is? It gotta be something. Uh, pretty actually. much. Okay, no, that's 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 a plausible excuse. Um, Go with that. All right, um, Devin, this is for you. Are you excited for the rumors that Bo- Boondocks may be coming back? You know, I saw it. They got confirmed for a fifth season, so I mean, it's cool. But again, it was trash as shit. Like those that three season, season four and season three was trash to me. So like, I don't give a fuck, honestly. Um, but hopefully, some good content there, and people have some joy with it. But I don't give a fuck. 
Uh, Jeopardy got lost yesterday. No, hold on, hold on. So how long was he gone? Thirty-two, went thirty-two straight wins. Fuck, that's a lot. What's his uh, total earnings? Uh, probably a lot of fucking money. I a think lot he, of he fucking money. Mil- uh, two point five million. Whew. He good. He good. Two point five million. He fell. Fifty-eight thousand dollars short of um, t- my man Jennings. What's the my man's name? Ken Jennings. Ken Jennings. By the way, Hauser did that with thirty-two. Jennings won seventy-four in a row. That means Hauser was betting the. He was cleaning up. He was fucking them up. <laughs> he like... was cleaning up. And he lost to a librarian. Well, yeah, she's it makes sense. That checks out. Yeah, it checks out. Mm-hmm. That makes perfect sense. So. Uh, I'm good on that. Mike, you got any news for us? Um, I think so much has happened. I feel like so much has happened since the last time I saw you. I know there was something big that happened. What was it? Oh, this is funny. Dark Phoenix Sophie Turner wants to team up with Thor in the MCU. That's not <laughs> ever going to happen. <laughs> so she just said that. She just said that because she wants to work with Chris Hemsworth. Like she, you know, she wants to keep her job. Yeah, I, I want to work it. up. I want to work up with with Chris Hemsworth as well. I don't think it's going to happen. Because <laughs> it makes no sense. I don't think I can think of anything right now. I don't know what what has happened and like. All right, since this uh, has been an X Men centric podcast, <laughs> I'll end it with this. So Screen Rant decided that. They wanted to try to explain the X Men timeline. Why? And this is one of my biggest problems with these movies, among a, um, a lot of things. But this is one of my biggest problems. So let's see what they had to say. How does the X Men movie timeline work? Over two decades and almost a dozen releases, the X Men movies have told the battle between mutants and those who wish to destroy, charting from the very early days of humanity to multiple possible annihilations. To make it even grander, this takes place over multiple divergent timelines. Allow us to explain. There's a sense in which the X Men films were. The first real attempt to build a wider cinematic universe, although they stayed, started out as a simple trilogy, superhero blockbusters, 20th Century Fox swiftly realized they wanted to keep the franchise going. And over the last 20 years, they've launched everything from prequels to spinoffs that are somewhat unrelated to the main movies. When things got too complex, Fox used the time travel in the X-Men's Days of Future Past to reset the timeline. By the way, the movie's nothing like the storyline's bullshit. Giving them a chance to recast and tell new familiar stories. That means there are really two major X-Men timelines which diverge from one another at X-Men's Days of Future Past in 1973, and yet the Deadpool and Logan spinoffs don't sit comfortably with either of them, meaning they realistically have to be considered further alternate futures. Um, Here's everything you need to know. This is bullshit already because they tried to tie all this bullshit in uh, when they had the fucking young X-Men show up at Daredevil in the fucking... In Deadpool 2, when he went to the X house, the young X Men were there. Uh, in okay, whatever. Uh, original X Men timeline. You're getting flustered over this. 1845 is supposed to be X Men Origins Wolverine, the first section. 1962 is supposed to be X Men First Class. All right. 1979 is X Men Wolverine, the sec the second part of the movie. 2003 X Men. 2003 X Two. 2006, X-Men Last Stand. 2013, Wolverine. X-Men's Danger Future Past is 2023. Relaunch X-Men's Timeline, 1845, X-Men's Wolverine. X-Men First Class, 1962. X-Men's Days of Future Past, 1973. X-Men Apocalypse, 1983. Dark Phoenix, 93. Logan, 2029. Here's the thing, all right? This is bullshit, because if you watch Days of Future Past, okay, why? How <laughs> is okay after X three? You have First Class, right? And then you have Days of Future Past. So First Class is supposed to be a reboot, but then they show up in Days of Future Past with Patrick Stewart and and Ian McKellen talking about we need to send Wolverine back in time to stop Mystique from killing Trask, right? So. Didn't didn't Professor X die in X three? Didn't Phoenix kill him? Yeah, they never ever. I don't think, to my knowledge, explained how he came back, except for one line in the post credit scene of First Class. What'd they say? They were just like, 
his power is far beyond anything you understand or something like that. Who? It wasn't like an Who's actual powers? either Magneto Charles? or no. Charles said it to let me you know what, let me just pull it up. Hold on. Also, <laughs> gonna... didn't Magneto lose his powers in X three? How'd he get him back? Um how did Kitty Pry- oh my god, I'm getting we're gonna do this in our review. How did Kitty Pride, whose power is to become intangible and move and like phase into things, how does she have the power to put oh, her I'm hands on, on Wolverine's head and send his consciousness back in time fifty years? I'm sorry, it was the Wolverine two post credit scene. What happened there? I'm gonna pull it up and share my screen. I'm gonna watch it. It's two minutes, so just hold on. <laughs> Oh my Let god. Me, this something else is gonna make me really angry. If this makes me I swear. Where's my is this it? Okay, skip that. Uh, can you see it? I don't see anything. I see it. Where? Okay, now I see it. Okay. Can you hear it? No. I'm not gonna be able to hear it. I'll just I think if I do this you'll be able to hear it. Why is it so low? Can you hear it? Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> Niggas just rolled up. <laughs> Here it is. You're not the only one with gifts. That's, oh, that's get it. the! F- get, oh. That's the. Uh, that's it. What was that? Breathe, breathe, Brandon. What was that? Like you, about to lose it. I see it. I hear it. What was that? I, I don't know. I don't know. Mike, what was that? Uh, Look at that ocean. Yeah, I have a. I bought something from them. I don't care. Um, what was that? <laughs> nothing. How? How is he back? Explain that to Brandon, me. Because Brandon, he has, he's got gifts. He's not no, the only it's one that has gifts. Bullshit. Here's the other thing. In the in the movies, they act like they didn't know who Mystique was. Then you watch First Class, and Mystique fucking lived with Charles all the way back in the sixties. Makes no sense. None. They don't care. They have, they don't how, care did, how did they not know about the Phoenix in 2006 when they saw the Phoenix in fucking 1980s and the 90s? Apparently, because her Phoenix power came out when they beat Apocalypse. And then there's a whole movie in the 90s of her as the Phoenix. And then all of a sudden, Jean is the Phoenix in, in the fucking 2006 X3, and they don't know what the fuck's going on. Whatever. We're, I'm done. I'm getting angry. <laughs> um, Mike, anything else you got before we get out of here? <laughs> Uh, my Funko box for this month was themed Avengers Endgame, and the Funko the Funko Pop that you can only get in the box is Captain America with Thor's hammer. Dope. Oh, that's cool. It is cool. Devin, you got anything? Nope. I promise I'll do some um, planning next week, so we can have more. Talk, talk about show. the drop, though. Just talk about the drop. All them all them episodes are about to drop. Uh, oh yeah, I haven't even loaded them. I'll do some tonight. You'll see. There's a bunch of movie reviews coming out, so check them out. Uh, we'll be back next week and get back on schedules going forward. Um, yeah, so we'll talk to you later. Peace.